Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Courtney Shanice, nice to meet you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate your continued support. So today is day seven of the declutter minimalization challenge. Um, and yeah, again, it was not difficult to find seven items uh, for this challenge. Um, I've kind of moved on to a different section in my room, um, so I'm quite proud of that. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I know a lot of you have been following me on this uh, challenge journey and I really appreciate your support. Thank you so, so much. Um, so yeah, let's crack on in. So the first item is a Pokemon Eevee umbrella. Um, I brought this as a gift. Um, but it's amazing how quickly kids get over an obsession. <laughs> so the person I brought this for was obsessed with Pokemon. Their favourite character was Eevee. Um, and like a month later, I got this and it was like, yeah, I'm over that now. And I was like, really? <laughs> um, so it's literally just been sitting in my room. Um, I mean, it's cute, but it's not something I would use. And at the moment, I actually don't know anyone that's into Pokemon. So I can't like gift it to someone else at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to declutter this. Um, I might try and sell it on Depop. Um, but as always, if you are interested in an item, get in contact with me. Um, you can DM me on here on email on instagram and we can discuss it so yeah i mean it's acts like brand new i've not even opened it nothing so it's in excellent condition but it's really cute it's all the evolutions or variants i don't know what, what you pronounce them um of eevee so yeah quite nice but i'm not going to use it Next is a doggy keyring. He's wearing a hat with a little pom pom. It is very cute. I got this in a Quake Me and Co box, um, but I've just not used it. It is made in Edinburgh. Um, and yeah, it's like all handmade, fair traded uh, materials. It's really sweet, but I'm just not going to use it. Um, so better off it goes to a home where it will be used. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, let me know. Of course, at the end of the month, anything that I don't give away or don't sell, um, I'm going to be putting it in a bag of charity. Um, and normally I like to use the one called Sense. They are about helping, um, blind and deaf people to interact. Um, that's something that I'm really interested in so that will probably be the one that I go to so it's the one I always normally do so next is a cute little mirror this is Love Country by Sarah Braley and it's a gorgeous mirror it's got like a hair over the moon kind of reminds me of like guess how much I love you book but I just have so many compact mirrors already um that I don't need another one um, but it's a really cute um, one, it's made in Suffolk, England, it would make a really nice gift. So yeah, and again, it's in its packaging, perfect condition, so there's that. Next is the Balance Brave New Hair Soothing and Moisturising Leave-In Scalp Tonic with AHA fermented aloe, hyaluronic acid and prebiotic. So this I got in, it was either like a lemonade box or a glossy box. Um, the idea is that you apply directly onto the clean scalp, massage gently, dry and style. My hair just does not like leave-in products. Um, I've tried many in the past, but my hair just doesn't really react well with them. It just always looks really like um unhappy <laughs> um so yeah i probably won't use this ever um 
and yeah like it's brand new i've not even opened it so yeah it would be a really nice product for someone um i've heard really good reviews about this brand so i know it's a good product but just for me personally i'd rather not open it use it once and then not use it again um so yeah if you're interested let me know and then the next two items are little like cosmetic bags this one is one with puffins i believe really cute really good size um but again i just have um the amount i need already i don't really need another one um so yeah i think it's really cute but just not for me and then the next one is one that was given to me um this is from ipsy um i believe some was it either friend mail or it might have been i ordered something and it came inside this i can't remember which one um but yeah it's just been sitting um in my beauty section in my room and it's just sitting doing nothing so it's really cute really sweet i love the contrast of the lime green with the blue i think that's really cool and even inside it's quite decent size um so yeah and then lastly is a broken cd holder thing um cd case this um was literally hanging on for dear life and i just got to the point where i was like do you know what i may as well just take the cd out you can easily buy new cd cases on ebay or amazon um and yeah so i just took the cd out took the little paperwork leaflet out um and yeah i mean it's quite dangerous i mean these edges are really really sharp um so on a safety level i mean this one is completely snapped so it's not good um so yeah that one will go straight in the bin i'll probably wrap it in some tissue um and then put it in the bin so yeah that is everything um in my declutter of day seven so yeah again not too bad um i i'm already starting to think about what to do for day eight and i have got some things already in mind that i can do um at the moment i am not short of items but i know um as the days go on it's gonna get a bit harder um so yeah it's gonna be interesting um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please do hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already and do leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts if you are participating in this challenge please do let me know and i will go watch your videos um it's really encouraging um seeing other people do it and it gives you that motivation to keep going um so yeah and also if you haven't already do go watch day one to six to see what other items i have decluttered um again if there's anything you're interested in dm me um and i do have a little giveaway on one of my videos so if you haven't already do check that out and enter if you like so thank you so much i hope you're all having a good weekend also if you haven't already do check out my instagram it is pumpkins in wonderland do give that some love and i will see you in the next one bye guys